Polyester, regardless of whether it's a yarn, fabric or knitted goods, is usually dyed today at the high temperature conditions of around 120 to 130 degrees Celsius. This dye method is common practice but becomes more of a challenge as soon as certain fibre blends come into the equation. In wool and polyester blends the temperature sensitive woolen element tends to felt quite heavily under these conditions, leading to irreparable fibre damage. As we can see here on this example of greatly reduced layer, compared to this prime example of prominent defined scale shown here. Sometimes within polyester elastic combinations it can lead to a very noticeable decrease in elasticity. After dyeing the material has pretty much lost all of its elasticity. This is primarily caused by the heavy swelling of the elastic fibres which can lead to yarn breakage. compared with the even consistent and intact structure shown here. For fire resistant polyester types, for example Treviria CS, it's essential that the burning of the fibres is not influenced by the dyeing process. This means there must be no residue of dyeing agents left on the textile itself. A crucial factor in the automobile sector is the fogging behaviour. Residue from dyeing agents can seriously affect the gravimetric test result on the aluminium plate as well as the light reflection on the glass plate. If we dye polyester in the usual way we get the following dye graph showing the dyeing process running at a temperature between 120 and 130 degrees Celsius. To dye a sensitive blend without endangering the material, the dyeing temperature needs to be reduced, which inevitably has a negative effect on the depth and the intensity of the colour. With our diffusion catalyst, Rukagol ERL, it is now possible to get the best possible fibre protection and optimal colour depth simultaneously, without any difficulty. With Rukagol ERL, the course of the colour curve is not just below the temperature zone of traditional dyeing processes, but also a lot shorter as well, a real time-saving factor. The advantages of this product are really plain to see. The product speaks for itself. Low risk dyeing of delicate and sensitive blends with the added advantage of optimal colour, depth and a reduced time and energy cost. When using this product it has been proven that both fogging and burning behaviour are not affected. Also when dyeing polyester microfibres new possibilities are presenting themselves. Rukagal ERL facilitates the dyeing of these fibre types in a much shorter space of time with the desired colour depth. Optimaler Farbausbeute bei gleichzeitig stark verringertem Zeit- und Energieaufwand. Ach, jetzt habe ich vergessen zu schwenken. <lacht>